welcome back to Good Evening KU. I'm Caroline Appleby. And I'm Andy Braz. Well, I know that he had a pretty boring weekend, but yeah, I, had a, I had a pretty eventful weekend. Yeah, what'd you do? I went to New York, actually. My dad's birthday was on the 19th, so that was this Monday. Mm -hmm. But I surprised him on Friday, so I showed up at his office, and he was on a conference call, and uh -huh. I like, walked in, and he like hung up the phone and was oh, like really? super-duper excited and surprised. Yeah. And, yeah, so I just like flew out there for the weekend. That's so nice. Just yeah. did you just like buy your ticket? Like how much in advance was this? His plan? like um, secretary did everything for me, so she like planned oh. everything. I was like, hey, I'm gonna surprise my dad. That's awesome. She's like, okay, I got the ticket. Like yeah. the driver, and like we have an apartment out there. Yeah. So, like, oh wow. Out there, like, 80% of the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. so cool. it was pretty fun. Got to see him, got to yeah. hang around New York a little bit. Mm -hmm. it was how, a was, good time. how was like the weather out there? Was it kind of It was just, super nice. It was, it was like nice. 70, really? much better than here because oh, yeah. I'm done with this weather here. Mm, I agree. It's like <laughs> so hot. I'm like melting every day. I oh, hate it. It's crazy. So uh, where in New York did you go to? Um, just I went to see Book of Mormon, which was super yeah. fun. That was like a really funny show. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Um, he, we like were deciding what to see. Like his secretary and I were like, "What do you want to see?" Um, yeah, that kind of thing. And we went to like a really old theater that it was in. So it was mm -hmm. like, really cool, like architecture and all that stuff. That's so and, awesome. Um, our apartment like looks out on Central Park. So. What? Yeah. So it's like pretty fun and pretty cool that like I yeah. got to do that. But mm -hmm. yeah, but then also there was obviously like some not so great things in New York yeah. this weekend. Mm -hmm. So we were actually at the show when the explosion went off. Yeah. So I actually didn't know about it until mm -hmm. we like got back to the apartment and I had like 10 text messages from my friends really? being like, are you okay? Like whatever. And I was like, yeah, I'm doing great. So like, like, how are you? <laughs> so like where like in proximity were you to like the explosion? Because um, it happened in Chelsea. So. Yeah, so the apartment's about like 30 miles or 30 miles, 30 blocks away. Okay. So oh, okay. it so, was like, we were okay, but yeah. weirdly enough, we were like right by it earlier mm -hmm. that day. So crazy. that was like really scary and yeah. like, we like were like, well I'm really glad like mm -hmm. we're okay and everything. But oh, yeah. definitely had to like touch bases with everyone back here and yeah. back in Minnesota. Make sure to text your mom, text yeah, everyone. I know, oh yeah. They're probably like, like, Oh my gosh, Caroline, you okay? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I was like and I was yeah. really confused when people started to text me because I'm like, Yep, I'm doing great. Like, Why I'm fine. do you wanna know and how I'm like, doing? And then you're like, Oh my god, there's a bombing. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> so I'm like, Oh yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> like I'm good, I'm good. I gotcha. Problem solved. Yeah. That's good. But yeah, it was pretty fun. Got to surprise my dad and mm -hmm. hang out with him, and he's a pretty cool guy. Mm -hmm. So, did you guys do anything like super special besides just uh, go went to? Out, went out to some good meals. Good I meals. Like, good, some good New York food. What would you recommend? Um, I don't remember what they're called. To be honest, yeah. I don't plan this stuff. But it was good. It That's was all good. That it was good. It was fun. All right. Um, did you just study a lot this weekend? I studied, I hung out with my friends, um, mostly just studied, slaved away, doing homework. And Seems about right. Yeah, just getting ready for this week. I have a Spanish test tomorrow, so Ugh, pray. The worst, <laughs> the worst. Hate it. Yeah. I had one last week, and I'm pretty sure. Really? Didn't go very well, but mm -hmm. tried my hardest, you know? Right, yeah. The effort is there. Crazy. Yeah. So, nice, awesome. Um, so, uh, we're just going to... Uh, wrap things yeah, up. Yeah, we can wrap it up. Um, catch uh, The Morning Roast tomorrow at 10 with uh, Mary-Kate and Sam in Dallas. And yeah. We Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Welcome back. I'm Hannah Cruz. And 
I'm Carly Mahan. This is your Good Evening KU News Update. Police officers in Charlotte, North Carolina shot and killed a black man who allegedly came at them with a gun. The officers were searching for a suspect in another case when Keith Lamont Scott allegedly got out of his car with a loaded weapon. Scott's family deny the accusations and say the father of seven did not have a gun. The North Carolina shooting led to hundreds of people protesting in Charlotte. Protesters threw water and rocks at the police and set fire to police vehicles. Police fought back with tear gas. According to the Charlotte Observer, one protester was injured and taken to a local hospital. Russian airstrikes bombed 18 trucks delivering aid to Syria. 20 Syrians were killed in the middle of a ceasefire deal between the Syrian government, backed by Russia, and the moderate rebels, backed by the United States. The U.S. believed that Russia was the only country that knew the trucks were being delivered, and therefore they are at fault. U.S. prosecutors charge Ahm Ahmad Rahami with four counts in federal court for connection to the explosions in New York and New Jersey. Authorities said Rahami praised brother Osama bin Laden in a journal found on him when he was arrested. Angelina Jolie vowed to divorce Brad Pitt on Tuesday after two years of marriage. Her lawyer stated the decision was made for the health of the family. Jolie has not commented publicly, but that has not stopped public opinion from responding with humorous memes and social media commentary. And that's all we have for the news today. Stay tuned, and I'll be right back with a very special guest. Good evening, KU. My name is Carly Mahan, and join with me is Kevin Gray. Thank you for joining us, Kevin. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, Kevin, I hear you're on the show Playmakers here at KU, and I don't really know much about Playmakers, but can you like tell us anything about that? So, the Playmakers is a sports show. Uh, mm -hmm. It's filmed right here, where Good Evening KU mm -hmm. is recorded. Uh, and what we do is we cover all of KU sports. So, it's not just a, a basketball recap show. Mm -hmm. We go and cover. Tonight, we're covering volleyball uh, when they play Oklahoma. Uh, we're going to cover soccer on Friday night. We're covering cross country. We're, we cover everything KU has to offer. We go to the event. We record. Uh, we check out cameras from, from the journalism school, and we, we film them. We cut highlights, and then we come back here in the studio, and we analyze them, and we talk about you know, what, what KU is doing well, what KU is doing poorly, what they can work on, schedules in the future. So it's, it's basically the KU version of Sports Center. Okay, okay. So it sounds like you know a lot about sports. Um, is there any way like you got into sports or like why do you like them so much? I just grew up uh, just watching sports. My mom's a, a big sports uh, woman. She she is from Wisconsin. She's a Packers mm -hmm. fan. When she moved uh, out to Denver, I'm from Denver. She became a huge Broncos fan. Go Broncos. Uh, <laughs> so I just grew up watching the Broncos, watched uh, the, Roy or the Rockies, uh -huh. um, a lot of KU basketball when I was a kid. So I grew up, I just fell in love with sports and decided I wanted to cover sports right. and, and the teams when, when I got older. And, and fortunately, KU has been been very fortunate to me and they've given me the opportunity to go out mm -hmm. and actually cover sports. Okay, so you're in the journalism program mm -hmm. here at KU mm -hmm. and Let me ask so you, you, a see question. you see yourself going you think into of the, the American sports Legion, industry, what, like, what exactly Is do you want to do? I really want to cover a baseball team. Uh, the Rockies have this really great play-by-play -play team mm -hmm. uh, led by Drew Goodman, and he, he's my favorite sportscaster uh, in the world. So he really inspired me to, to follow a specific MLB team, they'll, they'll, they go with the team to all the road trips, they kind of hang out, that's, that's not really the right term, but they're, they're in the clubhouse with the team, okay. they talk with the team, and they really get to know a baseball team in and out. And that just sounds like the most fun thing yeah, to do in the world. Yeah, it does sound very fun. So you said the Rockies specifically, right? Well, I mean, I grew up watching the Rockies. Mm -hmm. uh, they're my favorite baseball team, but Take a look man, under your bed. I, I would be Find okay with stuff any baseball mm -hmm. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hear like the Rockies aren't doing very well. This that's a bit of a misnomer. Uh, they are seven games under 500 uh -huh. right now. They are beating the Cardinals currently 11 to one. Yeah. Um, however, uh, that is a much better record than they had in the previous few years. Um, they've lost around 100 games, 98, 99, mm -hmm. stuff like that in the last three years. This year, they're 
uh, not going to lose that many games. So they're still not the best team in the NL. But they did make a playoff push early in the season, and they're a lot better than they had been. Okay, okay. So, Kevin, is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, rock chalk, and thanks for having me here. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Carly Mahan, and we will be right back with, a with Warren and the Weather. <laughs> Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Good afternoon and welcome back. As you can see, as you can maybe see, there we are. Uh, we are looking at a live shot right outside of Wesco at our beautiful campus, right on Jayhawk Boulevard. People are starting to head home, but as you can see, they're still wearing their summer clothes. As we saw afternoon highs in the low 90s today, uh, that will not cool off much tonight as we head in. We are only looking at a nighttime low uh, right around 70 degrees. Usually about this time of year, we're looking at uh, nighttime lows in the upper 50s. Partly cloudy skies and winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And as we head into tomorrow, our first official day of fall, it is not going to feel like fall. Uh, we are looking at highs in the afternoon again tomorrow in the low 90s. Mostly sunny skies, and it's going to be hot and uh, humid again tomorrow. Unfortunately, I know we're all excited for fall, but in the next few days, we really aren't going to see much relief as we see Thursday and Friday highs right around 90 degrees. But as we do head into this weekend, we are going to see uh, afternoon highs start to cool down a little. Saturday, we are going to see some afternoon thunderstorms start to pop up ahead of the cool front uh, that will sweep through on Sunday. And there is light at the end of the tunnel, I promise. Monday, it is going to be uh, in the low 70s. It is going to be very nice as we're looking next week. We are going to start seeing some fall temperatures. And that is all we have for you for the weather. Check out our new segment that will be airing next week. Thanks for watching. What has a head, a tail, but no body? A head, a tail, but no body. Mm -hmm. Leprechaun, uh, I my that's my Twitter or er, no. no. Okay, my, uh, we'll edit that out. What? Okay.